Yo, so it's crazy. I mean, I thought it was gonna be way worse and you know, as, but yeah, I mean, I'm pretty excited. It's pretty impressive if you ask me. There's a foot of snow on all this. Didn't go above freezing for a week. What's up y'all? So I'm just going out to the garden for the first time since, uh, you know, we got like a foot of snow this week and didn't go above freezing uh, for about a week. It got down to be negative six and then it just warmed up. So now is like the first opportunity that I've had to go out and really like check on things since it's all been under snow for a week and not really gone above freezing all week either. So, uh, you know, I'll show you what it looked like before it snowed. I didn't, there, it's really like unheard of that we get this much snow here. Um, the most I've ever seen before was like one to two inches and it's gone the next day. So we got almost like 10 inches of snow and it didn't go above freezing for a week. And it got to be about negative six. And so all this was under snow until this morning. So this is the first time I'm really having to walk around and check on things. So let's see what it all looks like. So like these had all kind of fallen. So it's good to see that they at least uh, sprouted back up. Same with this, it was all kind of flat and there's like lettuce and beets under there. Um, everything in the high tunnels got, um, had Agrabon over it inside the high tunnels. So, I mean, it looks good. I mean, yeah, it's good. I mean, everything's not dead. And then I just seeded this, these two beds to mustard cover crops yesterday. Uh, that's a bed of arugula and a bed of lettuce looking decent. There's a little bit of damage, but I mean, given that it was 96 or six below zero, it's pretty good. Um, these beds were all planted about right before the cold snap. So it's really cool to see. I mean, it's like the end of January right now, mid to end of January. And these beds were just planted two weeks ago. So, uh, you know, this was direct seeded arugula and then transplanted lettuce and direct seeded spinach over there. that's just popping up. So pretty cool to see uh, that even in the middle of the winter, I'm able to start crops like that. Uh, this bed of arugula was like really flattened down yesterday. I took the cloth off it. And uh, so it's cool to see that it's kind of like starting to uh, spring back up. I mean, it just had a foot of snow on it with these little hoops and the hoops you can see, they like collapsed. Um, so you can see like I had hoops here that just kind of fell down because of the snow. I mean, overall everything's covered. So I have no idea if like anything's even alive under here. Uh, I'm hopeful that there's some stuff alive. I mean, there wasn't like a ton of value. Obviously it's the middle of winter. So I have to somewhat expect something like this to happen. Um, but this low tunnel garden definitely sustained some damage. Like I thought that all these had just fallen over but it looks like they bent. So all these things that look falling over, like the actual pipes bent. Uh, but I mean, the fabric still looks good, which is cool. It looks like a little hole there, but I can fix it overall. Like I can, the fabric's good. And the, to replace the hoops, they're like five or $6 each, you know? So it's like five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 50. Yeah, you, you know, we could call it like maybe a hundred dollars worth of damage uh, to the infrastructure. So, I mean, it sucks. I mean, who wants to spend an extra hundred dollars? But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, it's not too big of a deal and easily replaceable. Um, and then in here, so I'm ready to go with more seedlings. So if there is a lot of damage in there, then all these guys are, I mean, I'm ready to go. These are all going into the ground uh, as soon as I get those cloths pulled off and some bed prep done. Uh, this lettuce in here looks great. That also was covered. And then I just pulled these onions out of this bed because they were not doing good. They never did good. Uh, and honestly, I'm gonna turn this whole entire tunnel into nursery benches like this so i can expand my nursery operations basically into this whole tunnel 
um, because we just leased a second farm. I need to start more seedlings here to bring over to the other farm. Um, and I'm gonna do some like potted, potted herbs in here also. I'm gonna get all these frost blankets pulled off and see what the damage looks like. Uh, yo, so it's crazy. I mean, I thought it was gonna be way worse and you know, as prepared for like worst case scenario, obviously. Um, and you know, you just kind of have to be prepared for the worst case scenario when you're gonna try to grow food for a living all winter. So, you know, I just, I don't necessarily have to rely on the money. Uh, I mean, I want the money, don't get me wrong, but like I save enough money during the season to be able to pay my bills if, if I lose everything in the middle of the winter. So just to like be prepared for it. Um, you know, so like, I wasn't like gonna go bankrupt or something if everything does die, but like, I was just prepared for everything to be dead to start over. Um, but man, everything looks great here. I'll show you. Um, so, I mean, these guys, so the hoops are bent. Uh, I just like bent this one back up and you know, it's gonna be fine. I mean, it'll still serve the purpose. Typically they don't hold any weight. They just hold the cloth, you know? So, <laughs> but they got a foot of snow on them and bent them. So I'll be able to bend them back. They won't be a complete loss. They'll just be a little wonky and they're not that expensive. But I mean, look at these turnips, man. I mean, like, dude, it was negative six the other day. And these had a foot of snow on them. I mean, <laughs> look at those things. They're bent, right, from all the snow. They were just sitting on top of them. But otherwise, I mean, they look incredible. Uh, like, you can see where the snow just kind of sat on them right there. So uh, hopefully those will bounce back up. I mean, these are overwintering carrots. Uh, still doing their thing. Those will end up being great, I'm sure. Uh couple beds of spinach here which uh i mean they got flattened a little bit but no big deal i mean i think it's gonna bounce back up maybe a little spot in the middle where i lost some but overall i mean for having a foot of snow on top of them and going through negative six degrees uh kind of same deal with this bed of lettuce which i've already harvested once so i was trying to get a second cut on it uh, so, I mean, it doesn't even matter if I don't, I could be done with it. I mean, this cilantro looks pretty good. It's kind of flat, but I think it's gonna bounce right back up and get a good crop off of that. I mean, these carrots, <laughs> these guys are fine. Uh, this dill was already dead. I already harvested it, but I was just leaving it in the ground until I got around to getting it out of there. I got a few empty beds right here. Uh, these scallions, I mean, they got squished, you know, but not all of them. A lot of them are really good still. A couple spots where they were squished and then these baby scallions got squished, but I mean, they're not dead. They'll probably just bounce right back up and you'll never be able to notice that it happened. Uh, lettuce, which was just planted, uh, which looks great. And then a couple of beds of lettuce and beets i mean they got flattened like they're flat but you know there's beets in there and i'm pretty sure that uh those tops are just gonna spring right back up and be just fine like this bed of arugula it's popping right back up i mean you can see it got flattened but like i think a little bit of warm weather this rain that we're getting gonna be just fine that's a winter rye cover crop just kind of for erosion control over the winter dirt uh, next to that high tunnel this is just like a bed of carrots which is fine and uh, I mean those are overwintered uh, watermelon radishes I don't know we'll see but yeah, I mean, I'm pretty excited. Everything looks, I mean, it's pretty impressive if you ask me. There's a foot of snow on all this uh, for a week. Didn't go above freezing for a week. And it got down to like negative six degrees, I think. And I mean, 
I don't know, there's a little bit of losses here and there, but overall, everything's fine, and there's still probably be able to pull thousands of dollars worth of income out of my backyard still in the middle of winter. All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next one.